I'm Dr. Katie Schilling. I'm one of the ambulatory veterinarians here at Loomis Basin Equine. Today we're going to be talking about summer sores. Alright, so let's start with what a summer sore is. So a summer sore is usually a non-healing wound that's present um, in the summer or fall, hence the name summer sore. Um, you might also hear it called habronomyosis, cutaneous ulcerative granulomas, or even granular dermatitis are some other names. But a summer sore is the layman's term for a skin condition that most common, that's most commonly caused by larva, which is the immature stage of habronema parasites, also known as a worm. Um, again, most commonly occurring in the spring and summer when flies are most active. Um, and we commonly see these um, on the skin, lip commissures, the sheath, distal limbs, conjunctiva of the eyes, but they can occur in other locations. So the normal life cycle of the habronema parasite um, is actually a stomach worm. So that is usually where we find this parasite is in the stomach. So horses with a low level of habronema infestation rarely show clinical signs. Horses with a high level of infestation may show some mild signs like stomach irritation, gastritis, colic, or weight loss. Horses originally pick up these worms in manure, old bedding, um, in feed. And once they pick up these worms, um, the cycle will begin. The, the worm moves into the horse's stomach and the eggs are actually excreted into the manure. Um, this puts those parasites back into the environment um, and allows those little eggs to be um, eaten up by the flies, uh, most commonly house or stable flies, but they can be eaten by other types of flies. As these flies grow and develop, so do the stomach worm larvae. These flies um, who are now carrying the stomach worm larvae travel to your horse's lips, deposit the larvae, your horse swallows it, and then the process starts all over again. Okay, so what happens when the habronema get lost? So instead of going through that normal life cycle like we just explained, um, sometimes this parasite gets a little lost. Um, and while the stomach parasite may sound a little bit scary. Actually, the biggest threat with these parasites is when they invade other areas of the horse's body, and that's when they cause summer sores. So again, we're looking at areas around the skin, lips, eyes, sheath, as we mentioned before. And instead of those larvae being deposited on the lips and swallowed, they then um, go into um, those areas of the skin and cause a really severe local inflammatory reaction. So these larvae are then embedded. They cause what's called a proliferative granulation formation, which leads to the allergic reaction, which then leads to our non-healing wounds. All right, so how do we diagnose a summer sore? So common things you'll see, redness, an itchy horse, absolutely, um, swelling or ulceration of a wound. Um, really commonly, kind of a distinctive feature is little yellow or white, we call them sulfur granules that look like little beads of rice, um, and those are usually firm um, in texture and, and pretty diagnostic for, for these wounds. Um, you might also see some drainage, um, proud flesh, or exuberant granulation tissue that's raised. Um, so all in all, any non-healing wound um, that is present in the summer or fall should be evaluated by your veterinarian. And while we technically need a biopsy to truly diagnose a summer sore, these very distinctive looking wounds will basically allow your veterinarian to decide the best way to treat them moving forward. All right, so how do we treat a summer sore? There's three main keys to treating a summer sore. Number one, you wanna treat the wound. Number two, you wanna kill the parasites. And number three, you wanna control the flies. So to treat the wound, the most important thing is actually to debride the wound. You need to remove the affected non-healing tissue so that the skin can begin to heal. Um, this allergic reaction um, from the dead larva is very irritating to the horse and again, must be removed to allow the wound to heal. All right, and the way you're gonna kill the parasites is with ivermectin. Um, this kills not only the stomach forms, um, but also the larval forms. Um, and so this really helps uh, the wound to heal. 
Some horses will need multiple doses of ivermectin or even additional dewormers. And this is something that you should talk about with your veterinarian to make a good plan. Another treatment that we use commonly is steroids. And again, this is an allergic reaction, so we need to reduce the inflammation and steroids allow us to do that. Um, sometimes your vet will use just a topical steroid. Um, other times we will need more intensive treatment and, and your vet may actually turn to an oral steroid. Um, additionally, we might need to use some antimicrobials or antibiotics if your horse has a secondary infection, um, so we can treat that as well. And finally, the way we want to control the flies, number one, keeping the flies off of them. So reducing any further irritation from flies or any further deposition of the larva. So you're gonna wanna wrap the limb, put on a fly mask, etc. And we'll talk about that a little in the next slide. Um, your vet may choose kind of a different combination of all of these types of treatments, um, but once they evaluate your horse, they'll pick what's best for them. Let's talk about fly prevention. This step is very important. So number one, it's important for preventing summer sores in the first place, but also preventing the worsening of a summer sore if you already have one. So the way that you can um, implement fly control, um, you're gonna wanna use fly masks. There's some that actually have fringe that hang down over the nose, and that actually helps keep flies away from the lips, which again is a really common place for horses to get summer sores. There's also things like fly boots that cover the legs, fly sheets, um, and fly spray of course. Um, you can use fans if your horse is in a stable or in a stall and that will actually reduce flies in the area. Uh, you'll also want to make sure you remove a lot of manure so frequently removing it um, and keeping it away from the horses to reduce fly population. There are also feed through um, insecticides and insect growth regulators that you can give to reduce your overall fly population uh, at your stable or barn. Um, and things like fly predators uh, are also helpful in reducing the overall fly population. You'll wanna make sure that you treat any wound, especially on the distal limb promptly. And again, implement fly control, things like swat around the wound to keep flies off of the wound. Um, and you'll wanna make sure that you talk to your veterinarian about uh, an appropriate deworming um, based on your horse's fecal egg count uh, to keep overall parasites down in your, in your herd. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today about non-healing wounds in the summer. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.